Yes, you're watching Urban Smash TV with your girl Emerald Huffo, and we've got the very lovely Nathan Byron here. How are you? Love it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm a bit sweaty, but yeah. I hope you can't tell. <laughs> no, I don't think you can tell. I'm just gonna. I just. I love your hair. I just oh. like. The hair is just like, I have to comment in the hair. Yeah. Just can't be Nathan Byron and not comment on these. It's a bit love. manic, it's a bit manic. But it's good, good manic. Oh, we good. like good manic. Good. Okay, before I go off on topic, because I always do this, oh, yeah. uh, I have to ask you an uh, icebreaker question to break the ice. Lovely. Um, if you could hear what someone is thinking for a day, who would you choose? Mm. Okay, so one of two. Yeah. And I would be my girlfriend just so you get in the mind of a woman so you're like, what's she saying? <laughs> what's she thinking? And then I, could, then I could second guess everything she said and I could be on top and win. Or it'd be like a president or something like that, Barack Obama. Everyone wants to know what Obama's thinking, exactly. right? Exactly. Come on, talk I mean, about that. Exactly. That's you get in and you're just like, oh my days, the Illuminati's real. <laughs> you never know what you can find out. So yeah, that's. I think that's what I do. Yeah. yeah. So we've got girlfriend and Obama. Yeah, I know they're very different. Very different. But but <laughs> kind of similar. I don't know. Who knows? Well, who, you know, you wouldn't want to get into a girl's mind, and obviously, everyone wants to get in a bomber's mind. Yeah. Who wants to know what I'm thinking? So, I know for our other Smash videos, you've seen this guy, you're like, yes, I know this guy, like, I know him. It's like, yes, casualty, some girls, YouTube, African, oh. all of that. I mean, you've done so much, and oh, it's just you. amazing. And you've also got your production, your Cool Beans, mm -hmm. as well, that you do with your, mm -hmm. with your good mates. Yes. Uh, you couldn't be here today, but yeah. we've got you, the other half of Cool Productions. Yeah. So, can you just like, because I know. Well, some people might not know you started off from YouTube, is that right? Yeah, sort of like, I did um, a lot of theatre work at the Lyric Hammersmith. Yeah. And um, I did that from when I was like, uh, about 14. And YouTube wasn't the thing then, so it was like, no, yeah. YouTube's fresh, like, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not that young anymore. So <laughs> when we started, like, it was like, it was theatre and I didn't, mm. I didn't go to a stage school or anything like that. Mm. So none of my parents were in the business, so it was simply like, okay, Go to school, do your A-levels, right. do them things. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I started in the lyric, did a few shows, learned that, oh, I want to mm -hmm. do this. Mm -hmm. I didn't even want to be an actor, I didn't yeah, even want to yeah. do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to be a PE teacher, mm. and then I was crap at PE. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Why PE? Out of all the subjects Because it was the one sport in school where you were like, yeah, so actually, we can just go out and play games mm. all day. Yeah, that's what I want to do. But then I, I failed PE like A-level, and I was like, actually, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Uh, but then, so acting, so I did a couple shows and it kind of just ran on from there. And then when YouTube came about, uh, we dropped a sketch on like a SLR with Moses Sabanke, who's a Don. He gave us his time and uh, we filmed our first sketch, Chicken Wing. And from there, it was just like, oh God, we can get people's attention by making sketches. Exactly what you guys are doing. Like, do you know what I mean? Putting your videos together and then it all kind of started from there. Just lots and lots and lots of hard work. Like different paths and then did that lead into you getting like more TV work? And well yeah, no, that led into, because again, through school, um, like school doesn't teach you how to get an agent. Mm -hmm. School doesn't teach you how to do these things. Like if you don't go do them, like it's tough, tough luck. So like I got, um, I went on Google, learned how to get an acting CV, sent off to agents, luckily some got back, some didn't, mm. and just started working, did some extra work, just loads of voiceovers, got a proper agent. The journey was, yeah. it's been dumb, and it's not even really begun yet, so. Yeah, I, I mean, it's still, because I can see you've still got loads, like, I mean, this is just the beginning for I you, so. but you've still, you've done so much, because like, someone will see you and be like, my gosh, like, I want to be what that guy's doing, I, I want to, you know, no. get those roles and stuff like that, so I mean, it's a huge achievement what you've done. Mm -hmm. What is, like, what are you, your aim at the moment, you're like, you're doing this, is there anything you're like, yeah, I want to do this, like, next year, I want to work on this, and what, what is um, your inspiration? The plan is, mm, good question. So obviously with me, I'm a writer, actor, mm -hmm. that's my plan. Like, I'm, I definitely want to start doing some more stand-up in the new year. So oh, that's, wow. Mm -hmm. That's definitely something that's going to happen. Um, my cartoon has uh, got optioned by a company, so we're pitching it soon. So if I can pitch that to someone, they pick it up, it'll be a dream come true. Yeah. So we've got loads of little like, things in, like I've got to play on at the Bush in November, and hopefully that'll get picked up and yeah, finished yeah. fully. So there's loads of little things I would love to take off. Um, but you never know, you just have to 
have loads of options mm. and then kind of see where they go. Yeah, so you had a rough idea what you wanted to do or mm. what you're going to do and mm. you've you know, got a lot of projects. Have you got um, any projects that you can talk about at the moment that is coming up? Mm. Yeah, like uh, Some Girls starts, the TV show mm. starts on um, uh, Monday. Right, yes. Like Monday, so if you're watching this, it probably won't be Monday. So it started <laughs> on the 30th or the 23rd. What month is it? September. September, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> it's over six weeks, so that's cool. I'm in five episodes of that, which is nice. Um, again, like I said, my cartoons, uh, it's an option called Afro Kid, which you guys Yeah, I love uh, watching YouTube, oh, so funny. Big up, big up. <laughs> so, I mean, if that takes off, you'll be seeing like, hopefully a lot more yeah. of Afro. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing things. Well, before we go, and before I can, you tell people how to you know, like, find your work and stuff like that, we um, always do a game with our you know, our interviewees oh. uh, called Love, Look and Leave, which is like, just basically a knockoff version of Kiss and Miss. Oh, <laughs> um, so I ask you these three celebrities who okay. you either want to love, love. Lick, lick or leave. Oh, okay. It's up to you. Like people say, like, where do I have to lick? I'm not showing. I mean, this is your. Okay. 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 So I'll give you these. I should probably think about the celebrities. Okay. So I'll give you uh, Lady Gaga and uh, Zoe Zoe Saldana and Katy Perry. Oh. Which ones would you love, lick or leave? Oh, Gaga would have to get left because she <laughs> is a bit manic and I don't know what she's saying. She might link me for that. <laughs> so I don't know about that one. Katy Perry. No, look, Zoe Saldana, she is a she's a love. She's yeah. love. She is fine. <laughs> and my girlfriend's gonna punch her. <laughs> it's alright, she's married, so it's, it's, it's like. Fine. She's mine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> and um, who's the other one? Katy Perry. Katy Perry. So you have to lick Katy Perry. That's... Do I have to? Have to lick. That's a free. All right. Some people try and work around it and be like, "No, I love them both." I was like, "No, this is not." No, no, I couldn't words. love them both. Katy Perry's got crazy eyes. I see it. That's <laughs> Um, so you have to lick, you know, it could be a friendly lick, a lick on the nose. Yeah, I think I'll lick her on the ear. <laughs> on, on the ear or on yeah, the ear? Yeah, just something not just too close, just like... Little I, little wouldn't little. Wanna, I wouldn't get Zoe jealous, do you know what I mean? I've got to keep it real. Well, thank you so much for playing our little weird game. Okay. And uh, before we leave, obviously, you know, if anyone wants to, can they subscribe to you? They can find yeah. the videos about you. I mean, if you go on www. W, I don't know how many W's, but <laughs> dot youtube.com forward slash produced by cool beans. I've got loads of sketches and mm. stuff up there. Um, I've got a couple of videos coming out on SBTV comedy, which you can check out as well. On Twitter at Nathan Bryan, B R Y O N. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's it. That's I ain't giving you my phone number. So. <laughs> that's all you need to know oh, about very lovely Nathan Bryan. We will catch you soon here on Urban Smash TV. Oh, that your fashion sense is on point, makeup's on point, hair's always Lately, on point. I don't know what's been going on. <laughs> Just... No, but it's going on today. Thank you. Shoot everything. <laughs> Looking up.